Well, that, that's, um, that almost covers my next question as well. Um, my, my next question was when you're lacking motivation, uh, what tools or, or techniques do you use to regain your motivation? Um, I guess, hmm, I just, I just, you know the story of, um, there's lots of different versions of the story, but the one where the Vikings sailed to England, they were hopelessly outnumbered, so the commander said, burn the ships, and uh, if we leave here, we're going to leave on their ships, so let's go and slay them all, and they did. Just completely removing any alternative as a possibility in my mind, it was just a mindset. I just re refused to accept that my life, because I, I had a bad experience at corporate, I didn't want to go back to it, and they're the two paths that I'm aware of, being an entrepreneur or being an employee, that's the two ways I know how to make money. If there's other ways, I'd love to know about them, that's the two ways I know. And I completely removed it, just psychologically, I didn't, I didn't go out and do anything that would inhibit my ability to get hired again or whatever, I just, in my mind, completely eliminated as a possibility. Um, in a corporate job, that's why like, I literally I chose a factory job. Could I have gone back into a more corporate job and tried to do a business on the side? I could have, but that was eliminated from my mind, so it was not an option. It was okay to do part-time work in a factory packing boxes, because that would give me some time to go and become an entrepreneur. So there, I, didn't need, I didn't really need motivation. There was no retreat path in my mind, is the answer to your question. And even with the, the debt knocking on your door and, and that weighing you down, you still just went, yeah, I've just, this is the way that I have, this is the path I have to take. Um, there's no other option. My boats, my boats are burned on the beach. Yeah, I, I mean, that is right. I, I am a big believer of, I thought there was a lot of good personal development and a lot of self-esteem that came with taking care of all your debts. And uh, during a lot of that time, I would have been eligible to uh, for, um, for, for welfare and what they call the dole in Australia, which is a government handout for unemployed people. And they've even got special programs to encourage entrepreneurs where I could have um, started a business and had government handouts to help me in the first 12 months of starting a business. I never, ever took a dime. I never pursued a sense of that um, because I thought... There was a much, even though it was difficult, the minute I had to spend some time uh, in a job, I thought the benefit to my spirit and self-esteem was worth it to be able to make sure I paid my debts uh, and took care of myself and paid my rent and did all those kinds of things. I thought there was a benefit to that, and so I went that path. Hmm. That, that's really, really interesting because, um, as you know, I spent um, about a year, it was actually... Um, it was 11 months that I was living out of my car because um, I had enough money to pay my bills. I just didn't have enough money for rent. So um, with, with the business that I was in, um, this was through through 2009 and early up um, to 2010, it was uh, a, a, a liability for me to have rent. So... Um, yeah, like your your path was you wouldn't you wouldn't take a, a dime from the government with even even if it was a, a program that was incentivized um, you to do so, um, and and my my path was to to go without in order to to get get the goodness. Um, so the I think it's fine. So whatever it is that you're comfortable with, it's what sacrifices are you willing to make to achieve your goal? All that means is you're willing to make a little bit bigger sacrifice than I was willing to make. Um, and it's just whatever it takes to achieve the goal, that's what you need to do. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. And um, who, who are some of the people that you admire or look up to and draw inspiration from, and, and why is that? Uh, back then or now? Um, well, I've found that with, with myself, it's sort of a consistent... Um, person that I admire from, but if, if that's changed, we'll, we'll go with who, who do you look up to now and draw inspiration from? <clears throat> now, I guess it's people, I, I admire some of the marketing brains behind some of the cutting edge marketing strategies that come out, so um, it's the people um, that I'm sort of around here, actually many of them live in San Diego, they're my friends now, but I really do admire just brilliant um, business minds and marketing strategies. Um, 
So I guess at the time, back in the day, it was more people who inspired me uh, and who were great orators and who could tell stories of their trials and tribulations and how they came through it. And that inspired me no end and gave me courage to go on. Now I'm not looking for courage to go on. What I'm looking for is the next great strategy, the next best way of thinking, the next management technique, and the people on the cutting edge of those technologies is where I draw a lot of inspiration from now. So it can, sometimes I don't even know their name, but I, I mean, I saw a squeeze page the other day. I thought it was brilliant. So I was like, this is genius. I'm like, someone come and figure out how they're doing this so we can do the same thing. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I, I know. I definitely know what you mean. Um, I often hear quotes and I'm like, who the hell said that? But I have no idea who, who said it, but it's just, it really resonates with me. Um, so if you were to give one piece of advice to, to people who are watching this video um, or listening to this audio call to get them from where they are to where they want to be, what would that piece of advice be? I'd go, I would go along the lines of the, the never give up. It doesn't, if, if, if there's a place that you know you're supposed to be and some, outco- some contribution that you're supposed to make throughout with your lifetime here, then it doesn't matter how long it takes to get there. That's just where you've got to go. Mm. So never give up. Stay with it. It doesn't matter. What, any other path is the wrong path for you. Once you know your path, stick to it no matter how long it takes. And, and how would you, it, for people not knowing what their path is, what, what would you recommend, if, if you would recommend anything for them to, to start moving towards? I haven't really got anything good for that. That is a very, very unique experience for everybody. Um, if you don't know your path, I suggest that's what you focus on. And I went to a lot of seminars, read a lot of books. There's nothing that st- sticks out to me as one thing that's all magical. But um, that is what, that's where you need to go. What is it that will make you ha- uh, live a, a long and happy lifetime? What is that? You've got to find that. That's important. Okay. Because I, I remember when I first started in business, uh, I f- it was in 2006 or maybe even 2005, I started selling web hosting as a reseller. And um, at the time, I just didn't know how, how to market myself. And um, someone um, offered me a business opportunity, and I ended up joining um, a network marketing MLM company. And in doing that, I, um, I got some incredible training. It was like business training 101, and it was next to nothing. Like my investment was like $2,000. And I, I personally wouldn't join another network marketing company because I know that... that Real money is created when you create the own, your own product or service. But would you recommend to people who don't really know where to start and need some form of direction to start in that industry? That's, I wouldn't say I recommend it, but I, it's, it, I actually I was a part of several MLMs uh, in the beginning, and I think it, it fostered a very good mindset in me. And it also gave me a great support network um, in, of, of like-minded people trying to change their lifestyles and become entrepreneurs. So there are a lot of benefits to it. Um, whether I'd say I'd recommend it, I wouldn't necessarily say that, but certainly it's a, it's a reasonable avenue and one that I took. It's a, a stepping stone that if there's no other stepping stone to take, that it can be taken. Absolutely. Um, yeah, so um, a couple more questions and then, and then we're all done, Ski. What, what do you do for fun? What, what things do you enjoy doing when you're not working? I know you mentioned that for you, work is very much play and play is very much work. Um, but what are some of the things outside of that? The, the favorite place to travel in the world? <laughs> um, I, I love backpacking around Europe. Okay. I love it. It's just the, the, the people on the backpacking trail are amazing, so varied, uh, and the experiences you get there are great. So I love that. All right, last question is, um, I hear you're coming to Australia real, real soon, and um, what, what, are you, what are you planning to do here? Is it, is it just for holiday, or for, uh, have you got any events that you're speaking at? Or uh, It's primarily a couple of reasons. It's primarily just for fun and holiday, and to introduce uh, my girlfriend who I met in Australia to my family and friends, sorry, who I met in America to my family and friends in Australia. Okay, awesome. And um, last but not least, you... Um, you recently relaunched your, your product in um, late July, early August, and um, 
just a, a quick 30 second intro on, on what makes my movies 2.0 so much different from the first one and, and why um, it's something that, that people need to grab if it's um, if they're wanting to achieve their dreams um, okay why 2.0 okay why my movies to start with like I said it's a visualization tool which massively helped me it was the difference between failure and success for me uh, and so hence I'm passionate about it and evangelist for it and I think if you if you haven't fully embraced the law of attraction and how to use it for you and if you haven't got results for it, I think it's a fantastic place to start. Now, why my movie is 2.0 um, is we've, we've really focused on making it super simple so that anybody can do it. It's a simple drag and drop process. You choose your images, you drag it onto a timeline, you, hit, you choose your music, hit process, and you've got this amazing video out there which is your life that you designed. So it's very simple. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Ryan, and, and for jumping on this call. It's, um, it's been a pleasure, and I've got a real insight into who, who Ryan Higgins is. Cool, man. Thanks for that. Awesome. I'll speak to you soon. Take care, buddy. Bye.